For the previous three seasons, Finley High School watched as quarterback Ryan Montgomery developed into a top 15 QB in the country, a talent level that allowed him to commit to the University of Georgia. It's no surprise the young man found success on the gridiron, given the fact it's in his DNA. My grandpa played football at the University of Finley here. He was an All-American. My dad played at Miami, Ohio. Obviously, my brother plays at Ohio State. So, like I said, come from an athletic background. Um, kind of just grew up around football, watching football all the time and going to games and just, you know, having that dream of, you know, playing at the collegiate level one day and possibly even the NFL. Coming into his senior campaign, Montgomery and his teammates carried high hopes for 2024. Put in work every day. Super excited um, and honestly kind of had that mindset of revenge. You know, we had an early, early playoff loss last year um, and we shared the NLL title last year. And, you know, we just had a lot of goals, a lot of hefty goals ahead of us that we wanted to accomplish and I thought we could. That is until week one, where Montgomery's season took a scary turn. I know it was a pass play and kind of got pressure from both sides. I kind of the step up and I saw a run lane because um, they were dropping seven or eight guys and I just took off kind of um, I think it was like third and three so I was trying to get the first down and um, I was too far to the sideline to get out of bounds but then I didn't really see the guy coming but I saw him at the last second he just went super low and I just like that I flipped over next thing I know I'm on my back he knew immediately that something was not right I knew something it was it was bad because it was just, like I said, my knee felt super, really unstable. Just felt like every step I took, something was moving around in there like jelly. And I was, I knew something bad was going on. His worst fears became reality. Montgomery needed season-ending ACL surgery. I had a lot of goals ahead of me and I knew I was going to accomplish those goals. And I mean, I was going to just light it up out there. I knew I was going to just because of the amount of work I put in and um, the preparation I do, like the amount of preparation um, I take before games, you know, I'm going to be the most prepared player on the field. And yeah, like I said, I mean, I, this is going to be a really special year, so I was pretty devastated. Aside from the Finley community, Georgia reassured Montgomery that they were still in his corner. They were really devastated for me too, but they also said, like, this is just the beginning for you. Like, this is not going to be the end. You're going to come back better than ever. Um, and we, they know how I'm wired and they know my mindset, they know I'll be back. As devastating the injury was, UGA used it as a teaching opportunity for their incoming QB. I've been doing some Zoom calls with them, trying to honestly learn the offense now that I have the time um, with rehab and not, obviously not being able to play this year, but um, contact's been really good. They check in, you know, every week. Through all of the emotions of his senior year, the Finley Trojan made sure to stay grounded in his faith and trust God's mission for him. Yeah, my faith is number one. It's number one priority in my life and I come from a faith-based family, obviously. And, you know, it's, uh, I was very disappointed and I was honestly questioning, like, why? Like, why does this happen? Um, but I've come to realize, like, God will challenge his toughest warriors and um, you know who knows maybe he was just protecting me from maybe something else worse that could have happened this year or, you know down the road like you just never know like it's all part of the plan I know that um, it's honestly connected me even more with him and with God and just my faith has honestly grown even stronger so um, it's definitely going to be a part of my testimony to be able to share that with people. With that, Montgomery decided to put his experience to use, assisting Finley's young talent from the sideline every Friday night. I remember when I was a freshman, it was playing my first varsity start. Like, it was, I was pretty nervous. So, um, yeah, just helping him, just going to the iPads after every drive and just, you know, telling him what I see, um, what I'm seeing out there. Away from the field, Montgomery puts the work in rehabbing that knee. It's been hard, but it's been good. Um, I'm kind of ahead of the track right now. I knew I was going to be just because I'm how I'm wired. Um, that's just how I am. Like when I want to focus on one thing, that's like I'm totally, totally focused on that thing. And like everything else is kind of secondary, but starting to, starting to feel like a human being again, you know, being able to actually walk again now. While the timetable post-surgery looks to be about nine to 10 months, Montgomery hopes his work ethic can get him back just a little sooner. 
Um, I mean, I'm striving and doing everything I can just to be able to back, be able to be back for spring ball next year. Now that's a pretty hefty goal, and I mean, that's I think that was like six or seven months from when the injury or when the surgery happened. But I'm just gonna try everything in my power to get back for spring ball. For now, it's all about patience for the star QB. Taking it really one step at a time. Obviously, with the injury and rehabbing um, every day, just trying to. Um, I'm not really looking at the end goal because that's just so far away. I'm kind of have like certain milestones and steps to that goal that I'm trying to hit and focus on like what's the next milestone, what's the next step in this process. Um, so that's kind of what my mindset is. In Finley, Jack McGuire, WOSN.